Hi guys, it's Ben here. I hope you're doing very well indeed. I'm sure we're all in a much better mood this time this week than we were this time last week after the Spurs game. But we've got a 3-0 win at home to Huddersfield under our belts and now we go home to Maribor in the Champions League in a game which we're going to win. Like the, the, We're one to 25 or something stupid with the bookies. We should surely be winning this game. We are a cut above. We've beaten 7 0 away from home, so I mean the home game should be we should be looking at another comfortable win. Should be another route. I mean I'm not expecting it to be another 7 0 win necessarily, but um we sh this should be a good opportunity to rotate, a good opportunity to have a look at some players like Oxlade Chamberlain and Robertson, who if they're not gonna start in this game, I just don't know when they're ever gonna get a start. It's just the perfect opportunity. So many injuries in key positions for us, we can't afford to be running the guys into the ground that are starting every single week. You know, your your, your Firminos, your Salas, your uh, whoever, wh whoever who normally starts for Moreno for Christ's sake, I mean he plays every single week at the moment, Joe Gomez as well. Um so look, it's it's hard to, to talk about this game really because it's such a clear win on paper um, and look, it's important to rack up the goals, it's important to get some confidence going, get the crowd going, get a bit of confidence back all round because the game on Saturday against West Ham are considered to be absolutely huge. I think that's going to really define the start of our season. If we can win that and get to 19 points in the first 11 games, it's not a disgraceful return but if we lose it and we're stuck on 16 from 11, that's real sort of you know, upper mid-table, lower sort of top six or seven form and nobody wants to get into that sort of uh, sort of scrap with the teams around that that sort of part of the table. We want to be looking at the top six. We are sixth now. We want to be chasing the guys above us, not worrying about what's happening behind us. Uh, but I, I do fear that any more drop points in the next two or three games would result in that. We need to be putting a run together now. And Saturday was the perfect catalyst for that, a nice 3-0 home win. And this should be no different. Um, if we're looking at the starting lineup. <laughs> I feel like Klopp's lineups are the most unpredictable since sort of before Rafa really. I, I, honestly, he's so unpredictable. Uh, I can't believe he initially was having Lovren in the side on Saturday before he pulled out in the warm-up. Um, I can't believe Oxlade Chamberlain's only had one start for Liverpool in his whole career. I can't believe Robertson's only played about two games. Um, but this is surely the chance to get those guys in. So Karius obviously to play in goal, he probably won't have, have a kick or a, or a save to make. Um, no disrespect to Marabou, but you know, you can't blame me for thinking that after what happened last time. And um, yeah, uh, Trent Alexander Arnold should play it right back. Joe Gomez needs a rest. I'm sure he'll play on Saturday. Uh, Matip, you know, as, as much as I'd love to get him a rest as well, with the injuries we've got, a centre back is just not going to happen. So he's going to have to play probably alongside Ragnar Clavin with Lovren supposedly injured. Uh, and then you've, you know, left back got to be Robertson, got to be Robertson. Uh, midfield. But probably give Henderson a rest, maybe bring Chan back in from the start. Maybe Chan, Vinaldum, and Oxlade Chamberlain maybe. Um, or, or, or Milner might give his place, maybe you could go for a Chan, Vinaldum, Milner. And then Oxlade Chamberlain on the left hand side of the front three. Um, you know, whether Salah will start, I don't know whether Firmino will start, I don't know. I probably would just about go with Salah and then, um, and then Sturridge up top. Good chance for Sturridge to get a run of games, another goal maybe. He might bring someone like a Woodburn in uh, to play along the front three, but as long as Oxlade Chamberlain gets a start, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not averse to seeing Salah having a rest. So let's see. But we should be winning the game with ease. We should be topping the group now with ease. If, you know, if, as, as long as we get the wins over Spartak Moscow at home and this Maribor uh, game, that will give us 11 points. And then you've got the Sevilla game to try and do better than that. That one's the penultimate game to Sevilla. So if we can win in Sevilla, uh, then of course we'll be we'll be looking to top the group uh, with consummate ease. But the two home games from here should be straightforward. I know Spartak Moscow are good. They beat Sevilla, so that's not going to be an easy one. Um, but look, if, if we can't be in those sides, then we don't deserve to be in this competition. But we're looking good in the Champions League. We should be progressing. And But yeah, for me, it's all about the league. It's all about keeping the momentum going and getting a, a run together in the league. Because as I've said, I think I think the season's over in terms of the title. But top four, as much as I think it's a big ask, or not necessarily a big ask, but a difficult task, at least, with, with Chelsea and Spurs uh, and the Manchester club still looking just a bit better than us. Um, we're us and Arsenal kind of trying to clip at their heels and, and chase them down. We need to be chasing them down starting with the win at West Ham. So I'm, I'm kind of, I've got one eye on that game already. Um, I'm kind of looking past Maribor, but look, we want to get we want to get some goals on the board. We want to get some guys' confidence flowing. We want to see Oxlade Chamberlain get another goal, maybe. Um, be nice to see Sturridge, uh, you know, back two and two. And then, you know, maybe, maybe he can start putting a run together himself. But let me know what your guys' predictions are uh, in terms of the lineup. Will, will it be wholesale changes? Of course, we can't underestimate them too much. They are obviously champions of their domestic league, but they are not in the same category of football club as us um, unfortunately f for them so look don't underestimate them but which this should be a route I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go 5-0 um, 
don't want to pick the scorers, but yeah, I think I think five 0 is about fair enough here. I think that's probably probably about about where the line is. Will it be over or under five 0 is probably the question here, as opposed to whether we're going to win the game or not. So. Let me know your school prediction, let me know your team predictions. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Let's enjoy it. Let's enjoy this. Hopefully, you know, Donna set seemed to arrogant. But let's enjoy what should be a good night, uh, what should be a, a nice big win. See us through, um, you know, on, on the road to progression in the Champions League. And then we go again on Saturday. Hope you enjoyed this, guys. Leave a comment, of course, as always. Subscribe, like, share. Follow my other socials too, if they might say, on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. I will see you next time. Up the Reds.